नमस्ते स्टूडेंट्स टूडेज टॉपिक इज एडमिशन सेक्शन 17 टू सेक्शन 20 ऑफ इंडियन एविडेंस एक्ट 1872 explains about the concept of uh, admissions as a student uh, what kind of questions that you may come across so take the question so that the answer we can analyze the question define admissions state the persons whose admissions are relevant another question what is admissions explain the kinds of admissions okay so for this how much answer that you have to write in the exam what is admission we have to understand from our concept our lifestyle our meaning of life so that we can easily explain that one we are human beings we have responsibilities we have duties we are negligent we commit mistakes we commit wrongs we commit crimes whatever we do in our life if we have a good mind good thinking little humanity we are going to accept what we have done the acceptance of our negligence crime wrong mistake failure of uh, duty it can be called as admission very simple right so section 17 gives the definition of this word admission you know this uh, definition you may, it may be little complicated okay it's as follows admission is a statement oral or documentary by a person about the fact in issue or the relevant fact of a case by those persons explained in this chapter right so if possible you write in your words but remember to write section 70 definition of admission okay then of course you can write in your own language don't worry now how many kinds of admissions are there let us understand one by one the first one is called formal admission or judicial admission what is the first one formal admission or it is also called as judicial admission what is the meaning of this uh, word you know we have a judicial system judiciary courts the parties the witnesses comes to the court of law they stand in the witness box they make the statement when they stand in the witness box when they touch the religious book when they promise to tell the truth and they are going to accept their failures their negligence their mistakes their wrongs their no rights there no clients you know all such a statement shall be recorded in the documents of the court 
So, acceptance of such things as in the records of the court by the parties is called formal admission or judicial admission. I would like to give one small, simple, beautiful case for this. See, try to remember the names of the case. See, here is a beautiful name. Nagin Das, Ram Das versus Dalpatram Icharam, 1974. See this case. This is from Mumbai. The facts is very simple. There was a house owner. He has leased it and the tenant is occupying the house. House owner wanted to take back the property. He requested the tenant, but the tenant didn't budge. House owner filed the case. And the tenant was called, summoned to the court. Tenant made the following statement. It is as follows. I am the tenant of this property from such and such an year. I know the owner of this property needs it. I don't have any right on this property. I don't have any claim on this property. I don't want to continue on this property. I am ready to go away from this property. But I request your honor, I need some time. Give me some reasonable time. Within that time, I will vacate the premises, your honor. He requested. See the words, he requested. As a result, the court said, very good, I'll give you six months of time. Within that, you must vacate. And afterwards, you don't have the right on this property. He said, fine, your honor. So he has made an admission. What is that admission? I don't have the right on this property. I don't want to continue on this property. I am going to vacate the premises. This is his admission. You know, time flies. Time doesn't wait for anyone. Time does the justice for all. Uniformly. Impartially. What happened in this case? The tenant agreed to vacate the premises, but in his inner mind, he was determined that I should not vacate the premises. See the inner things of a brain. And the time of six months has come to an end. And the house owner requested him, Mr. Tenant, as you promised, kindly vacate, I want my house. He said, nothing doing, I'm not going anywhere. So once again, the house owner was compelled to come to the court of law. When he filed the case once again, that house owner showed to the court the judgment copy filed given about six months back. And the court analyzed it and the court held immediately this man, this tenant should be removed from the premises he don't have any right to continue in the premises. He has admitted that he don't have any claim or right to continue in the property. So the admission 
made by the tenant in the records of the court is called as formal admission or judicial admission okay so one one cases i'll give you for one point okay that's enough you write that much now we will come to the second form of admission that is called informal admissions or casual admissions you know we the people we accept our wrongs we accept our guilt we accept our failure in one way or the other way unofficially okay in formal means unofficially we are going to accept our failures our wrongs i told you when i was teaching under section 10 i have given you this case conspiracy evidences to prove conspiracy under section 10 i have given you this case this case about two persons one mr blake and another mr tai these two persons were employed in the harbor they have the duty to bring the goods imported from the ships and to exhibit and to see that tax will be paid to the government as custom duties but these two people they entered into a conspiracy to cheat the government to skip the goods in such a manner taxes will not be paid for the goods and they will collect the money from the bonus so enriching themselves so blake and tai inside their homes they used to write private diaries we should not write private diaries it is dangerous so here they started writing private diaries they used to put the date they used to put the name of the goat okay how much they have cheated to the government how much they have earned on that day so all these details they were writing in the private diaries when the authorities saw uh, visited their premises they discovered the private diaries and it was shown clearly their methods of cheating the amount of money they have illegally earned such a statement is called informal admissions or casual admissions okay one one case very simple case one point one case try to write this much in the exam now we we'll go to the third point admission by conduct you know guilty mind begets guilty conduct covers of guilt they always exhibit their guilt in their behavior in their attitude here is a small simple case hope you like this case there are people there are any people especially the boys 21 25 26 years of age when the moment they look at the girl they will be interested they will be attracted to the girls and they will try to make promises so here also this mr one male member he made a promise to a girl i love you i want to marry you i want to give life to you everything everything in the air this man was working in an office he was employed 
Obviously, no office premises. There are so many places, so many chairs, and so many staff will be sitting and watching. This man, the lover, we can call him as, he was also sitting with so many other office mates. Suddenly, one beautiful girl entered the office. She stood there. She looked at this man and immediately he also looked at her. He became nervous. Then you know he started looking here, there, here, there. He started looking. And immediately he got up and moved towards the girl and uh, told her not to speak, not to speak, you know, to hush hush. And immediately he removed some money from his pocket and he just put it into her hand saying, you go now, you go now, we will speak later, please you go, go away, go away. All the office staff watched the behavior of this man. They kept quiet. After a few weeks, the girl came back to the office once again. The same thing repeated. One more month, one more month, one more month. So there was a repetition of the visit and hushing of that girl. Finally, she filed the case against that man for cheating. And here, the girl requested the court, Your Honor, there are witnesses for his promise of marriage. Please present all the office staff of this man. You know, I told you, British people have uh, the psychology to help the police, to help the court. They readily come forward as witnesses to tell the truth. So here also, all the office people came to the court and they told the truth. And the court accepted the statements of all the office staff as a proof of admission by the conduct of that man. Okay? Right? So, they are the three kinds of admissions. That's enough. Now we will, we will just move ahead. We will go to another part. Who can make admissions? Who are the persons who can come to the court of law and make an admission or to accept the liability or to accept the no right or to accept the no claim or the failure or the negligence or the mistakes or the frauds or the wrongs or the crimes. Who are the persons? <coughs> there are five kinds of persons from section 17 to 20 these five persons have been explained. First one, first point. Admissions can be made by the parties to the suit. What is the meaning of this? In a civil case, there are two parties, the plaintiff and the defendant. In a criminal case, that is prosecution and the accused. So, broadly, they are the parties. If any one of the party comes to the court of law, makes admissions, then such admissions shall be relevant. Now, for this you have to write one case. Which case you can write? Very easy. I have given you the first case. Okay. So, please hear. Please here, you repeat this case, Nadin Das, Dalpat Ram Das versus Dalpat Ram 
इच्छा राम नाइनटीन सेवेंटी फोर ओके इजी फॉर यू वी विल गो टू द सेकेंड पॉइंट एडमिशंस मेड ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द मास्टर ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द प्रिंसिपल by the agents or by the servants or by authorized persons so that is the second point see this case it will easily analyze this point <coughs> crick stall brewery company brewery you know bakers this company has booked the luggage in the railways the railway is called turner rail company so they have booked their luggage in the railway and the goods arrived in the destination and this fellow with all the documents came to the railway office to collect that luggage but the luggage was not to be traced and he demanded i want my goods back i have paid for that when they failed to return the goods he filed the case against the railway company so what happened the court conducted the trial and the railway is represented by the station master he is not the real master he is a servant is it not railway station master everywhere we can find him he came to the court on behalf of the railway company and he made admission as follows your honor it is true that this uh, brewery company has booked the luggage it is true they have paid the fees but it is unfortunate one of the railway servant has stolen the goods and he has escaped from our custody the court said good you the servant of the railway company you are making the admission on behalf of your master that is turner railway company fine you have accepted your failure and you have to pay the compensation for the same right yes go to the third point admissions by representatives who are these representatives i think all of you know the indian trust act there is a post called trustees you know when some companies uh, suffers loss and the court orders for the winding up of the company the court appoints an officer called the liquidator or the administrator or the caretaker you know they are they are not owners they are appointed by the court then when such persons takes the matter into their control they study the affairs of the company or the transaction and you know they may discover they may discover the frauds or cheatings by Two, three, four, five, six board of directors. They will prepare the report, and they will submit to the court of law. So this is called as admissions 
by the persons having the representative characters. Okay, very simple. Now, let us go to the next fourth point. Admissions by persons having pecuniary or proprietary interest. That means those persons who are having the ownership of a property, those persons who are having the financial interest in a property, they too can come. They too can make admission about the transactions in that problem. One word I would like to give, one small simple from the transfer of property. Consider mortgage. So in mortgage, there are two persons. One is the mortgager and the mortgagee. That means, in simple words, the owner of the property and the one who has given the loan. Is it not? So, the debtor and the creditor. Consider Mr. A is the owner of a house property. He has taken a loan of 10 lakhs of rupees from Mr. B. Now Mr. B has the duty to give 10 lakhs rupees after the expiry of the mortgage period. Now within this mortgage period, Mr. A sold the property to Mr. C. Mr. A sold the property to Mr. C. Now there are three persons. One Mr. A, one Mr. B the mortgagee and one Mr. C the new owner. There are three persons. One Mr. A when he sold the property to Mr. C in the document sale deed he has mentioned. Mr. C on this property, there is a liability of rupees 10 lakhs that has to be cleared to Mr. B, the mortgagee. And I, Mr. A, the seller, am not going to clear it. You have to clear the 10 lakhs of rupees. And in the same deed, Mr. C, the new owner, says, I hereby promise to clear the loan of 10 lakhs to Mr. B immediately after the completion of the mortgage period. So what it says, passing of liability to clear the loan from the old owner Mr. A to the new owner Mr. C. Time has moved away. Mortgage period has come to an end. And Mr. B requested Mr. A. And Mr. A says, no, no, the new owner is going to clear your money. So Mr. B approached the new owner. New owner says, no, I am not going to. I have, don't have any relationship with you. I am not going to clear. So the case has come before the court of law. Now the question is, who has to pay the money? Is it Mr. A or is it Mr. C? Both of them, Mr. A had the old ownership. Now Mr. C is having the new ownership. Okay? Now, Mr. A came to the court, stood in the witness box and says, and produced the sale deed. Your Honor, here is a document which proves the transfer of liability from me to this new owner. So, when such persons make such statements, it is considered as admissions by persons having pecuniary or proprietary interest. Okay, that's enough. Go to the last point. 
admissions by referees admissions by referees i think you might have heard this word referee who is a referee where you will come across this word especially in the football game there is a man an impartial man a man who doesn't belong to the players of either side he acts like a judge but he is not a judge and that man is called referee in the football game but for our analysis almost say i will like, i want to explain this by means of a simple illustration take the illustration what is the value of a human being 10 lakhs 20 lakhs 25 lakhs 30 lakhs what is the value another question to you what is the value of a house is it 50 lakhs is it 1 crore is it 2 crore the value of a horse is very very high right so i would like to give a case of a horse mr a is the owner of a horse an arabian horse in bangalore city mr a is the owner of an arabian horse in bangalore city it cost 2 crores of rupees Mr A is having a friend Mr B an old friend from the past so many years they know each other one day Mr A a very intelligent man very intelligent he sensed some two degrees of lunacy in the horse and using the word 2% of lunacy in the mind of the horse human psychology always plays its role what mr a thought oh tomorrow this horse may become a 100% lunatic better i will sell it so what happened mr a sold the horse to mr c for one and a half crore mr a sold the horse to mr c for one and a half crore c received the horse and after 6 months the servants they complained to mr c sir please conduct the examination of the this horse it is having some mental problem as a result the doctor scale examined the horse superior doctor scale examined the horse and they gave a report that this horse is suffering from lunacy from the past one year they have given a report as a result c filed a case of cheating against mr a the old horse owner then mr a came to the court of law and he requested the honorable court your honor i am sincere i am honest and i would like to call my friend mr b to give to oath for my innocence for my honesty court accepted his request and mr b the friend of mr a was called to the court mr b came took the oath and told like this you are honor mr a is my friend it is true that arabian horse was owned by mr a it is also true but now i will tell you the truth that mr a had the knowledge of 2% of lunacy in this horse 
it was recorded. The statement made by Mr. B is called the admission by the referee. So who is the referee here? Mr. B is the referee. He was referred by A in support of him. He supported but he told yes I am friend of A but he had the knowledge that the horse is having small degree of lunacy. Okay. So for the question I have answered this much. What is the question? Definition of admission, kinds of admission, whose admissions are relevant. So if you remember, if you write only this much, your answer will be four and a half page and you will get complete marks. Enough for today. Thank you.